Just when we thought that the hot stove couldn't get any hotter with this Trevor Bauer signing, Marcelo Zuna takes the spotlight because he signed with the Atlanta Braves once again. And so the Atlanta Braves put something out on Twitter saying, hashtag Braves sign outfielder Marcelo Zuna. And then they had the press release on there as well, but I'm only going to read a little bit of it, the um, financials. And basically it's about a four year $64 million contract with a fifth year club option or a $1 million buyout. And so for the money, you can't really argue. Marcelo Zuna had a tremendous year in 2020, and I know it was a short year, like I always say, but he really was great. And honestly, we've known uh, that back with the Marlins, he had great seasons, and hopefully he can continue to do that with the Braves like he did in 2020. Uh, that lineup provided a great cushion for Marcelo Zuna. I know he's not the greatest defender, but he really brings it with the bat. And he was one of the top hitters in all of baseball last year, so hopefully he can really carry that over to 2021. And really, when we're talking about a guy who attacks the ball, uh, anywhere that the ball was pitched, Marcelo Zuna was basically able to hammer it out of the ballpark last year. It didn't matter whether it was inside or outside, Marcelo Zuna was capable of taking the ball the other way or taking something inside, cheating on it, and just ripping it right to left field. So he was just a tremendous hitter. And so this signing is healthy for the Braves offense. And with Ozuna's offense, I'd say that he's going to provide surplus value for the Braves. But nevertheless, Ozuna deserves this contract. You know, and if he can perform even somewhat close to what he did last year, I'd say it's a great deal for the Braves. And honestly, if Ozuna keeps performing this way, you would think, oh man, well maybe he should have gotten a little bit more than that. But hey, as long as both sides are happy, Who's gonna complain? I mean, I'm pretty sure Braves fans are happy that they're getting a guy like Ozuna back because he did tremendous for them last year. So I'm happy for the Braves fans. And now those four years guaranteed might concern some people because of Ozuna aging and maybe he's a little bit of a power hitter. So uh, we don't know how that's gonna fare, but if he can continue to swig the twig this way, so to speak, then I would say that he's going to age okay. And now, of course, he's not really speedy to begin with, so you know he's not going to lose speed. We know he's not a great defender, so if the DH does come to the National League, then obviously he could slot in there nicely with Austin Riley probably taking uh, left field or third base and Johan Camargo taking one of the two also. So there are some options, which is why the Braves probably felt all right signing. Uh, Marcelo Zuna, or re-signing him rather. But I love the deal. I hope everyone who's watching this loves the deal. And I had a feeling he was going back to the Braves. As much as people weren't confident in it, I had a feeling, and I know some other people did as well. So I'm glad he's back with the Braves. I hope you Braves fans are happy because I'm pretty happy hearing it. Uh, he looked great in that Braves uniform, I had to say. Uh, and hopefully he continues to play great ball for the Braves. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this type of content, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content as well as hit that notifications bell so that you get alerts every time that I post a new baseball video. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I will leave a link in the description below. If you would like to go over there and follow me or uh, look at any of my posts, uh, I do post baseball stuff over there as well as channel updates. Uh, so yeah, if you wanna check it out, then go check it out. But as always, thank you all so much for watching. This has been Major League Talk and Marcelo Zuna Welcome back to the Braves.